Him right out there? Big old gator. That's a bull, oh. Willie. You better hold on to him. You better hold on to him. Oh! 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 oh. oh. <sighs> 7 a.m. on the bayou. Temperatures are already pushing 90 degrees with 95% humidity. And the forecast only gets worse. 110 miles northwest in Bayou Sorrel, veteran gator hunter Willie Edwards has spent the season teaching his greenhorn son, Little Willie, the ins and outs of gator hunting. Today's lesson, the dangers and secrets of hunting in excessive heat. And pants and stuff you ain't used to wearing. Pants you used to wearing shorts and t-shirt. And you ain't used to that sweat. You be wanting some relief mighty quick. Willie knows firsthand just how deadly the heat and humidity of South Louisiana can be. I'm already sick of my stomach. Had a light stroke a couple years ago, and ever since then, I can't take the heat near as much as I used to. I get to sweating so much, I get home and my boots would be over my ankles and nothing but sweat. Got the blood I got. That old thick blood. Don't circulate too much. What we got? Nothing, Willie, nothing. Ah, uh, nothing on. I don't know what the world went on. Still hanging, huh? You got alligators everywhere and they not biting. And we just something gotta change quick. The alligators appear to be avoiding the bait cooking in the extreme Louisiana sun. So Willie's plan is to move to deeper, cooler waters and rely on the Edwards family secret weapon, the treble hook. He can always whip out the treble hook if it ain't biting. And uh, that treble hook, that's a main tool in the boat. Look, underneath that treetop, I see his head up over there. I think that was his head right there. This thing was by them lilies right there. Yeah, he was into swimming the into the bank. I seen him. Wait till I get way around it. Throw it way over there. Watch it when you snatch him, you snatch him hard. Now. Oh. You got it? <sighs> Don't roll it against the side of the boat, you tear butt. Oh. Oh. Get up, back up away from that side. Don't let the hooks come off. Oh. Oh. Let me get a hook. Pull him tight. Watch him, he's gonna slap you in the face. You can't bend that over the side of that boat, you're gonna pop my rope. That boat was pulling, huh? You caught him way in the end of the tail. Get it in the mouth. He got one. So, I mean, I was forgetting what they feel like. I mean, no big one. Ready? Let's go. This giant 11-foot beast is just what Willie was hoping for when he switched up his strategy to beat the heat. First one in the morning, Willie. Talking about the brute, too. The brute. Now hunting giants in the deep, cool water with the Edwards family secret weapon, the treble hook, the intense heat is starting to fry Willie and little Willie's brains, causing some father and son squabbling. <laughs> oh, yeah? That's how it is? Oh, ah, we get out there. I mean, we call each other names. We call I call him a Jonah. I mean, bad luck and all kind of stuff. And I wish you was going to college or something to get off of me. Hey, I'm helping you out, dog. I ain't your dog. <laughs> <laughs> Might talk to your little friends on the street like that. Don't talk to me like that. Or you're gonna get punched in the teeth. I mean, we go back and forth, and I mean, every now and then I have to offer him out on the bank. But well, I'll put oh, you on stuff, boy. You made me go old, my boy. <laughs> See that? Watch it. Better back up. Water all you up in my You're gonna get more than wet. Everything. Now get back in the boat. Oh, that ain't what you wanted. I, I owe you, sucker. Water all up in my boot. I mean, he knows. I mean, Daddy still got it. I mean, <laughs> there ain't no way he can hang with it. <laughs> Come on, put that hook on now. I ain't touched you. Why you about to fall down? You been drinking on some moonshine? I done done the same things and everything with my dad and everything in the boat, but there's time for play and there's time for working. And we try to do a little both every, all day long. See him out there? See him right out there? 
We up with alligator. Oh. Big old gator. He's gone. He's gone nowhere. What a gator. Roll him up. Look at this old thing. Whoa. <laughs> that is a big one. I mean, we got a brute, son. Big Daddy Will right here got to show you how to <laughs> put the gator down. Yo, here we go. Catching this 11-foot monster on the treble confirms Willie's suspicions. He decides to pull down some of his earlier baits cooking on the shoreline. We had to untie that rope, Willie. But little Willie is struck by an Edwards family problem, a Charlie horse. What you got, a Charlie horse? Uh, sweating too much, <clears throat> just like I get them. Gotta start drinking some plenty of food. Uh, and they do get even worse, they get in your uh, belly, all in your stomach, that's when they bad. When you get them cramps, when you, can, you can't even hardly feel them coming. They, they sneak up on you and they knock you on your knees. They hurt. Hey, Willie, I got you something this morning. You need to get, uh, drink some of that or drink oh, it. Lord. Come on. You got to drink it. You got to get that uh, vinegar in your, uh, in your blood and stuff. Where it's thinning your blood, you won't have them chalice horses, son. Huh? When you drink that pickle juice, the vinegar and stuff, it thinning your blood, and it makes your blood flow good, and you can stop all that chalice horse and knock it out. This stuff right here is nasty. Hey, it'll, it'll get help rid you. of a chalice horse and everything. It'll help you out. And, I mean, you got to drink her down. I don't want to drink that pickle juice. It's kind of nasty and everything. It got a weird taste to it. But uh, if it helps you out, it helps you out. And you got to do what you got to do. If you're a man, you got to drink that. And I'm full bloody, man. Full bloody. I drunk my fair share. Having overcome debilitating heat cramps, Willie and Little Willie have one more monster in their sights. As the sun finally begins to creep toward the horizon, Big old alligator. There you go. Pull it, pull it on him. Snatch him hard. Oh! He ain't going nowhere. Calm down. That's a big old gator right there. Look at that pile of bubbles in the bio. Yeah, yeah that's him. Throw it across there. Snatch it hard. Got it? Yeah. Hold it tight. Snatch it a couple oh, times. Oh, oh. I got it, you got it, you got it. Oh. Yeah. This ain't no ten, no nine, ten foot. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. We got a monster back here. Get it, get the gun ready. Watch back here. He's hooked way back on the end of the tail. You gonna be in the front of the boat, will it? Them bubbles right there? Yeah. Follow them bubbles. Here he come, here he come. Watch for it. Watch for his head to come up. Here he come, here he come. When you can see his head underneath that water, you can shoot him. He's up. Go. That's a big old gator. I can get it to grab that arm and twist, try to pull it up to me. This 11-foot, 500-pound behemoth is a just reward for a long, hard day in the scorching sun. What an alligator. Huh? I say, what an alligator. And for little Willie, he's learned a valuable lesson on how to deal with extreme conditions on the swamp. Yeah, and that sun and everything. Make sure you drink plenty of water. I mean, drink, drink you some pickle juice and everything, because being all cramped up and not being able to help my dad in the boat and everything kind of gets to you and everything, because that's, that's what you're there for. 
We're getting on up the ditch, get on out of here. We'll get some air in the face. About to pass out. 